humor. Gird up the loins of your mind. Be sober. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 13 A merry heart doeth good like a medicine. Proverbs chapter 17, verse 22 Gravity. I mean simply that grave and serious way of looking at life, which, while it never repels the true light-heartedness of pure and trustful hearts, welcomes into a manifest sympathy the souls of men who are oppressed and burdened, anxious and full of questions which, for the time at least, have banished all laughter from their faces. Gravity has a delicate power of discrimination. It attracts all that it can help, and it repels all that could harm it or be harmed by it. It admits the earnest and simple with a cordial welcome. It shuts out the impertinent and insincere inexorably. The gravity of which I speak is not inconsistent with the keenest perception of the ludicrous side of things. It is more than consistent with, it is even necessary to, humor. Humor involves the perception of the true proportions of life. It has softened the bitterness of controversy a thousand times. You cannot encourage it too much. You cannot grow too familiar with the books of all ages, which have in them the truest humor. For the truest humor is the bloom of the highest life. Read George Eliot and Thackeray, and above all, Shakespeare. They will help you to keep from extravagances without fading into insipidity. They will preserve your gravity while they save you from pompous solemnity. Phillips Brooks